He's the Son of God that came to earth to die for my sins so that I could live eternity in heaven with him. Well, there's not uh, one particular moment where I just knew, but a few years back, I needed to uh, find a counselor, and I called my insurance to get some names of providers that were on my insurance. And they gave me a couple names in the same office, and I thought there was a pretty good chance that I could find somebody I could get in fairly quickly. And I called, and the recording said, press one for Kim, and so that's what I did. Kim happened to have a cancellation that day. And as I look back, I see that God had it all planned. I didn't ask my insurance for a Christian counselor, but I got the most godly woman that I think I could have gotten and she showed me the unconditional love of Christ. God used her to lead me in the direction that he wanted me to go. She eventually invited us to her church and I learned so much about the gospel there more than I had in my entire life. I was baptized when I was 11, and at that time I don't remember knowing what I was doing or why I was doing it. I wasn't raised in a Christian home. We did have a Bible that sat on our t coffee table, but it was a decoration. I don't ever remember it being opened and read. I attended church my whole youth, and I joined Youth for Christ when I was in junior high. But I don't, I didn't really know what it meant to be a Christian until, you know, the last several years. And I've had it in the back of my mind that maybe I should be baptized again. And then last month when we took 101, Tim said something that just hit me over the head and I knew that it was time that I should be rebaptized now. Uh, to be a part of this baptism celebration. Uh, she's joined on stage with her husband, Jack, and a couple of members of her community group, Dave and Barb Wiegand. Uh, community groups are a big part of, of what our church is about, doing life together. Uh, so we're excited that they've, uh, they decided to be a part of this celebration with us. Brenda, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior? Yes. Well, that upon your profession of faith, and in obedience to Jesus Christ, our Lord, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried to death in baptism, and raised to walk in newness of life.